Lama 3.2, a new four model that we got newly from Meta. We have two new multi-model, the first ever, and two small tiny models, the 1B and the 3B. This model is created for mobile, but the Vision model are creating to be the first multi-model ever from Meta. The Vision model come in two variations. The first one is the 11B and the second one 90B. Both of them are 128K context links. It support text and image input and the output will be text only. In this video, I'm gonna test only the 90B and focus on it. In tomorrow's video, I'm gonna focus on the tiny models and see how good they are as we test it and maybe fine tune it also. I found two websites that can you test this model on. The first one is Together AI and the second one is Fireworks AI. And there is also Grok, but unfortunately Grok doesn't give us the 19B vision. They only give us the text version of the Lamas 3.2. So I'm gonna stick with Together AI and Fireworks in this test. Let's take a look to the new models benchmark. As you can see here, it's compared to the GPT-4 Mini and the uh, Cloud 3, not 3.5 Hugo. It's doing very good in the benchmark and the images. And of course, Mini doesn't have images, so it's not counted over here. And text, it's slightly above the GPT-4 Mini. So let's test this 90B model and see if it's good or not. In order to fully test this model, we're gonna ask it different category questions like OCR, translation, coding, math. And another additional question that will show the capability of the vision of this model. With the first question, I'm gonna start it off with solvent capture. I have this image of an assemble capture, YR890, and I ask it to solve this capture for me. As you can hear, as you can see here, I am using the 90B vision instruct on Fireworks, and it provides me with the capture. This is very good, but for some unknown reason, when I ask the same question to the Together AI 90B Vision Instructor, give me, I cannot solve this CAPTCHA. I am a text based model and I don't have the capability to visually interrupt images. This is kind of weird, but I'm going to use Fireworks right now instead of Together AI. My second question is focusing on OCR, especially handwritten images. I have here a slightly hard to read handwritten image. I upload it, I ask it what is this write writing in this image and it give me like some sort of key feature. It's handwriting, what content and what it discuss, the tone of the text and the language that it used to. But it doesn't give me the text itself. So I ask it once more, can you give me the text of this image? And it gave me the entire text perfectly. Like here today is Thursday, October 20, but I definitely feel like Friday. I went back and checked the correct answer for it and it's correct. So the second question is passed. This question is about converting image UI to a code. As you can see here, there is barely any explanation on what is this, but I told it convert this image into an HTML page with using CSS and JavaScript use dark colors. And it started to create decent steps. Step one, create the HTML, the second one with CSS, S and the third one was creating the JavaScript functionality and adding in the end the dark colors. So I'm gonna take this code, put it in the file, and show you the results. All right, this is the result that I got after I bought the files, and it's kind of I don't know how to say it. It's, it's kind of all right. I mean, like it's failed. But if I remember correctly, when I tested Bigstro, it couldn't provide anything near this level of the code. For this question, let's test the capability of mass. This equation, actually there is two ways to solve it. And it def the first one will give us one like it did here. The second one will give us nine, which when I ask it, is there is another way to solve this? Actually, it gave me nine. So it's in both way, it solves this correct. Now for detecting actors in images, I asked this question to Bigstrol and it got me correct answer. This is a picture of Ken Reeves. If you don't know who is Ken Reeves, is a very good action actor. And for some reason, it told me I, I can't provide personal information about individuals in images. And I asked why it repeated itself. It seems when it comes to people in images, this model sucks. 
This question will test the capability of counting and detecting animals in the image. Simple image, you have three dogs over here, one gray beautiful cat and one parrot and rabbit. And for some unknown reason, it only can detect two dogs. Here it detected a dog, a rabbit, parrot, which Bixter couldn't detect the parrot for some reason, but it could detect the dogs, a cat and another dog. And it give me the atmosphere of the image, what the image say, and overall feeling. And I asked it how many dogs in this image because there is three. It told me there is are two dogs in this image. And I told it, are you sure? It told me, yes, I'm sure there is only two dogs in this image. I have no idea why I couldn't see the third dog. But for this question, it failed. Even Bixterol couldn't detect the battle, but also could detect every single dog in the image. For translating Japanese text into English, it succeeded. This image have one word called konnichiwa. It's a common greeting in Japanese to say hello or a good day, but it got it correct, so it's the best in translation. Okay, this is a very good surprise. This model seems very good at memes. Here I give the Uganda Knuckles memes. It's a 2017 meme. It's kind of a little bit old. And here it told me this is the infamous Uganda Knuckles. Correct. And went into very good details on explaining how this model is created and uh, how it gained popularity. And it's one of the aspects of Uganda Knuckles meme. It's used for catchphrase, do you know the way, which is correct. Wow, this is a very good answer. Uh, is this a model trained on every meme or what? I think this model have been trained heavily on memes. Because I went out and got another meme and tested, and so far it doesn't fail on memes. This is the not simply walk to Mordor meme, and it got it correct also. Maybe I should ask it about a new meme. So I have this image over here that it's a receipt about grocery, and it's kind of old. And uh, I'm gonna ask it a few questions. The first one what is the total order of this receipt? And as you can see, it's 100, and it gives us $100. The second question, what is the lowest and the highest item in the receipt? It got it correct also. And I ask for what is the name of the items and it lists all the items inside the receipt. Figure out how to avoid the total, the order and the stacks and change and all this kind of stuff. And how much a selected item cost and it went out giving me the correct number, $12.18. So this is a very good. I have to be honest over here. For my useless test, what is this image? It's an image from a video game called Doom Eternal. And here I ask it, what video game is this? And it gives me a straight answer, Doom Eternal. All right, this is the last question. I ask it about this image. Can you detect the enemy show in the image? And it seems that it is the Bextral couldn't do that. It here told me that on the left, Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. The middle show is Goku from iconic anime series Dragon Ball Z, which is correct. This is an image from Dragon Ball Z, not S. And uh, last object, one man, one bunch man. Therefore, we are we are to analyze the image. You could identify at least three different anime shows: One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, and One Bunch Man. Perfect. This is the final result of the test that we created. Succeeded in solving CAPTCHA, what is written in this image, the OCR, it failed at coding, it succeeded at mass the two ways. Uh, can you detect the actor failed, which is a very stupid question that should get it correct. It failed at the animal count and detection, and it succeeded at everything after that, translation, memes, memes is very good. The whole concept about talking to the receipt image, it isted. The gaming image got it correct. The enemy got it correct. So this is a very decent model. I know there is a lot of not positive word about it right now, but it seems the only issue is it. It's heavily censored. It seems like if you ask it about doing something like tell me who this guy in image or detect this people in this image, it will not do it. Compare it to a model like the Bextrol 12B from Mixtrol. I know it's not the same size, but I have to be honest. If the 90B model vision wasn't censored, it will be the new king of the vision.
This is how the new system from LamaGuard work. It you send an input, the input will be processed in the LamaGuard to see if you can answer it or not. It go to the Lama and give us the response that we should get. But if it wasn't censored like this, this model will be a very good model. If the community of open source managed to uncensor this model, it will have be a very good model to be honest. So that is my opinion. I hope that you found this video useful for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification. And thank you for the 2000 subscriber. It's a new milestone for the channel. This has been a blast. My name is Sam Eddy, or you can simply call me Sam, and see you on the next one.